What is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadow Gun Legends. Is it possible in this game to look good and have the good stats? The answer is yes. This ninja build right here, 100% inspired. I don't even know if I should say inspired. 100% copied from the fashion icon of the week winner, Primal Convoy's Samurai Blue. Even the belt I copied from the first day I saw this thing posted on the swag zone on the discord. I thought this thing looks awesome. I want something like that. It is super nice. He also posted that picture on discord which I thought looked freaking awesome with another guy. It's not it's not him. It's another guy he met in the game. They look really really nice together. Another crazy thing he did. He posted that on discord. He made an animated gif with all the different colors that he can paint his whole set if he wants to. Primal Convoy, you rock, man. Thanks for sharing that. I was already working on my run and set with good perks. I had the boots and I had the pants. But right after he won Fashion Icon of the Week, I found some good gloves also. So I got everything I needed except the paint. But this paint is super cheap. You can get it in your daily missions. So I went for Aquamarine, which is pretty cool result. I think it looks good with the Shadow Gun of the Week sticker I have on my chest. So let's look at the perks. So I got the 15% crit on the boots. I got the 12% crit on the pants. And these gloves are the Assault Rifle Damage and Damage to elite it's what i was using before for my arena battles now this build has two legendaries the shoulders which got 20 percent crit damage is the highest crit damage shoulders we can get and the only thing i'm not so sure yet is the basilisk body because it's got only seven percent health i'm used to something much higher like 22 23 24 percent so seven percent health here is a bit low i think but some guys i know use that and they say it's actually pretty good because you heal super fast so they say it's a pretty good chest let's see what it looks like now the belt if you're wondering is the hero belt it's hard to find a belt that look good with this set but the hero belt is perfect i think so i respect my skills to the 1233 build from yatuku but let's go ninja style today we're gonna go voltaic fist and see if we can sneak through the mines and behind the crusher at switch c all right we got voltaic fist today i it's my favorite dungeon i teamed up with my boy son goldie you probably know him he's super famous on the mad stream uh, I hope he's here. Yeah, my boy Sun Goalie in the house. We killed with a random, so I don't know if we have a partner. Maybe we're alone. No, we got Red YT or Red Deet. Let's do this, big boy. By the way, guys, reloading while running is awesome. It's the f one of my favorite things in the game. And when you're used to it and you don't have it, you really feel how important it is the mobility in the game it really slows you down when you cannot reload while sprinting like you're sprinting and then you want to reload it starts walking it is super annoying i've been used to it like for a long time before we were able to respect our skills i had it i was using it all right sangoli so called the elevator so i don't know about the random guy but yeah, I guess he's following us, so we'll be fine. Wait for the guy. It's not very polite. Hey, Let's do this. Nice swag. It's probably a, a display bug, by the way. So now that I got low health, I don't know if I can run through the mines in this dungeon. I'm so used to just run and... I can take the damage usually. I'm used to play a lot of HP, like 24% plus. Um, wait, I'm just gonna kill some stuff to help the help the team. 24% on the chest usually. Also, I play a lot of health on uh, the skill tree. Usually, I play 11 in survival. stuff for no reason i would really like to run it see if i can survive the mines hope some gold is gonna let me go okay didn't take a hit here run through the mines no hit 
a bit bit of damage oh 43 25 hp i survived that i survived how much hp i got i got 125 i'm used to 140 plus Oof. oh there you go i died killed by the crusher ouch ah that's not cool and i'm really alone here well i guess i'll just respawn and uh join the guys in the big room wow 800 the am bomb Damage to elite is real. 750 and 800 with the iron sight. 33 and then 67. What? How did he go there? Hacker confirmed. Alright. So the guy can walk on water, but. Cannot survive the regis. Enjoy, DJ Ninja. Take that. All right, let's finish the job. He's dead. All right, so we end the run with a purple 948 with this guy. All right, so we're gonna do another run. This time I'm gonna try not to die to the crusher. I'll go to drain the basin, not expecting Sangoli to go to the spider room. The deal is I wanna redeem myself. I wanna prove that I can do it with the low 125 HP. Not get wrecked. Alright, I'm alone, so I'm going for it. Let's go. Old school speedrunning style. Hug the left wall, straight to the switch, get ready, look right, untouched, we good, so far so good, alright, back to back, 125, no damage taken, but the real test is this crusher guy, he decides I'm not going to pass all right all right we did it got hit in the back 106 is fine we did it guys so we'll go to the big fight yeah, 67. It's already over. Are you so that's what I'm talking about. Teamwork on the switches. He's dead. Uh, A squad this time. 746. Which is much better than last run. Well, good job, guys. It was a lot of fun playing with my boys. It's Eric PR and Sun Goalie. Who's uh, training for the Olympics. He's running hard. This guy. He's motivated. He knows what he wants. Good stuff. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the short video. Hope you enjoyed the swag. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. Watch my other videos. Be back soon. Take care.